们。一起来掀起这场高能的风暴吧！无人知晓，便无所不在。Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today's an interesting video because we have a couple of different topics. One being about heirloom recolors, and if we're going to see them in the future, we also got to talk about a brand new version of Apex Legends made by someone other than Respawn, if they're even allowed to make it, and also some statements about Apex Legends and the player base moving on to other games. We're going to cover all that. We're also going to give out forty-five bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. Without further ado, let's jump into today's news. So, as most of you are aware, Apex Legends Mobile did shut down in May. Right before the launch of season 17 and they basically gave out a letter thanking everyone who went ahead and played now The developer of the game was Tencent Studios and it was worked hand in hand with Respawn They even had some Respawn and EA developers work on the project themselves But after the cancellation and it got shut down a brand new trailer has launched and it shows a brand new mobile battle royale game it Has the same exact drop ship as apex legends along with the dive trails and importantly They also have a lifeline character who gets a red shield. Why don't we just have that in regular apex? legends i still don't know at least they're listening to the community but along with that there's an exact clone of wraith who has the same exact phase ability and the teleport ability and i'm pretty sure she's using what looks to be an exact copy of the kraber along with a number of other legends although the maps are a little bit different but you can even see some shots that look exactly like a recolored version of world's edge and this game is called high energy heroes and this is being developed specifically for china and according to some sources like the leaker bot this is completely independent of ea and respawn but this has big implications for Apex Legends in general and what it means for the future of the game. It's unclear right now whether or not EA gave approval. I have a hard time believing they would because it's their IP. Along with the fact that Andrew Wilson, the CEO of EA, did say that Apex Legends Mobile is expected to return as a unified single game experience. And that the reason that Apex Legends Mobile failed was because of a lack of connection between the mobile and PC console versions of the game. They also canceled Battlefield Mobile, which had the same exact issues. What that basically implies is that at some point they will make a mobile version version of Apex Legends, but it will have cross progression with the main game, just like Switch can play with the other consoles and on PC. The only problem is we'll need actual cross progression to come to the game. And we've been promised that for like the last two or three years that it's being worked on and coming, yet we have not seen it. It also means that if they do bring in some of the old features, we could be looking at some pretty unique stuff coming to Apex Legends, such as the perk tree for legend abilities. We see it with Bloodhound right here, but all the legends had different types of abilities you could unlock, which makes a lot of sense as they are hiring a new progression designer and we know of weapon mastery and that they're working on something similar to legend perks. Along with that, they had some pretty cool ideas with the heirlooms where you could actually unlock different variants of it, which is something that we've been asking for a long time. We did get the Wraith's heirloom Hope's Dawn recolor, but that wasn't a free one that you could just unlock and upgrade throughout the game. And it's interesting because we have not heard of any upcoming heirloom recolors except for a Mirage one that seems to be in the work. There are a number of different heirlooms they could add in the near future. And if they did a cross progression with the mobile version of the game, allowing us to customize these further, that would actually be a huge step in the right direction when it comes to cosmetics in this game and how they treat the player base. What I also find interesting is if we would actually see Fade or Rhapsody. As of now, it does appear that Respawn is not working on introducing them into the game whatsoever, but if there was cross progression, it would be very easy to port these characters over from mobile and probably already have them designed within the main game. But a lot of this depends on what EA and Respawn is going to do with this high energy heroes and what their own plans are with cross progression in regards to an upcoming mobile version of Apex Legends that they are working on. And also, how the game continues to trend as Imperial Hal and others have claimed that Apex Legends this season is in its worst state as the player count drops and the rank situation becomes even more dire as the percentage of masters is starting to get quite high as Apex Legends status points out and there's still two months left to go in this season. I do think a lot of the mobile stuff coming into the main game would be absolutely fantastic and a breath of fresh air because there is so much cool content that was in that version of the game that we never got to see in the main game. Even TDM coming over was a big hit so I see no reason why they shouldn't give that a shot. Otherwise they're just giving a huge portion of the mobile market right over to China and their copycat game. Let me know down below. What are your thoughts on the current state of Apex, the Chinese knockoff, and what would you like to see in terms of heirlooms in the future? Don't forget to check out this video by my editor, Novell, right here. And until next time, legends, keep slaying the islands. I'll see you out there.